Welcome to the Men's to Win It podcast. I'm Jason Gilbo at jgilbo11. Taking a look at tonight's Tuesday slate for NBA. Um, decent sized slate tonight for a Tuesday and a lot of great options. No real blowout concerns. Uh, the Mavs and Lakers looks like the biggest one, but it's just a seven point spread. So Vegas doesn't expect a big blowout there. I think both teams are in play, uh, especially given the, the paces they both play at. So um, we'll get some injury news starting off with point guard. Um, not a lot to deal with tonight, just Brandon Knight. Um, already rolled out, so there's no mystery there. Um, that's just going to lead way to Archie Goodwin coming in and playing, um, who has been solid over the last two games filling in. Um, he's put up 44 real points in the last two games, and he's played 39 and 41 minutes since Brandon Knight has gone down. Um, I think he's a great option. He's shooting guard eligible on DK. He's point guard eligible on FanDuel. Um, so really a, a great spot on both sides tonight. And um, you know, alongside him, you look at Devin Booker, who's also been playing bigger minutes, and he's been a more consistent value play um, since Eric Bledsoe's gone down. So you really like the Archie Good one and and uh, Devin Booker backcourt tonight for for kind of your top fan duel, or uh, top value options. So um, I'm looking that way as a big staple for my cash games. Goran Dragic is out tonight, but um, that's not really an area of concern tonight. I'm just not really targeting that game in general. There is one guy I'm looking at, but I'll be talking about him a little later. Um, it's just, it just looks like a slow-paced game. It looks like it's going to be fairly low scoring, just with the other options tonight, kind of like last night with the Bulls heat. Um, I want to target elsewhere. Russell Westbrook is your top guard tonight, um, facing off against New York. He's triple-double threat every night he comes in. He's averaging 18, 11, and 8 over the last six games. The usual stuff. Going to be pretty tough to, to uh, fit him in tonight because there are other options I'd rather pay up for. Um, but, you know, it's pretty top-heavy tonight. You're looking at Chris Ball, Damian Lillard. Um, all great plays tonight in those three. The guy I really like tonight is Ish Smith. Um, just price considered. He's below 7K on FanDuel, just sitting at 7,400. I think if I'm paying up for Boogie and guys like Durant, um, you're going to have to come down a little bit at point guard, which I don't mind doing because Ish Smith has been solid, um, averaging 13, 9, and 3 over the last four games. And oddly enough, with all the trades he's gone through this season, he has played the Phoenix Suns four times already. This will be his fifth time. Um, he's averaged 13, or, uh, 16, 6, and 4 in four games against him in 28 minutes per game. So um, I just like him at the price tag. I think he fits into my cash games tonight alongside Cousins and Durant. So. Um, I'm really looking his way. I already mentioned uh, Goodwin is the value guy there. Uh, going any lower, I mean, you like Deron Williams at his price tag. He's been a little bit inconsistent lately. Um, but, you know, before that, I mean, you would often find himself at 26 and 5 at times. Um, but he does throw those duds in there every now and then. At his price, he's a decent cash game option tonight, especially against the Lakers. If you're looking anywhere else any lower than that, uh, you're not going to find a ton. Nothing really opens up for for uh, injury-wise just because, one, there's not a lot of injuries to deal with, which has been a surprise. So um, just really look at those cheaper ways that the Suns backcourt um, is Smith, and then if you want to pay up, obviously those three guards are definitely in favor. Moving over to shooting guard, um, Bradley Beal is out tonight. You're going to see Garrett Temple step in and get more minutes. Um, once again, it's probably not a situation I'm going to touch tonight just because that Suns backcourt is just really the ideal matchup and in the ideal play with minutes. So um, just just a note that Bradley Beal is out tonight. If you're looking any lower than that, uh, Rodney Stuckey still out. Um, you know, he's been dealing with a foot issue. That's kind of led the way for more, a little bit more C.J. Miles um, kind of usage, I guess you could say, when he starts off the bench, depending on what the situation is with if they're rolling big or rolling small. Um, that That's really what that opens up more than anything. If you're looking up top, DeMar DeRozan, uh, obviously your top option with Washington struggling against shooting guards this season. Uh, DeMar DeRozan's been great. I mean, he has a usage rate near 30% right now, and uh, averaging 28, 4, and 4 over the last four games. It's going to be tough just because shooting guard is not a spot you really want to pay up for tonight, but DeRozan is your obvious top option. Uh, I mean, the guy's he's averaged 29, 2, and 5 against Washington in three games this season, so... He is in play. I think he's more of a GPP move just because you're probably swerving from other top price plays um, if you're going that route. Um, a guy a 1000 cheaper, CJ McCollum. Yes, he had that monster game against the Kings earlier this season. Uh, went 35-9-11. But that was with the, without Damian Lillard. Um, so his usage was, was way up and kind of took over that game. Um, but, I mean, he's been solid of late, averaging 21-3-2. and um, Shooting 48% from the field. Plus, still playing over 30 minutes, um, has the usage rate near 
near 28%. So uh, McCollum's playing well, and obviously a great matchup against the Kings, who ranked dead last in fantasy points allowed per game to opposing shooting guards. So um, he's kind of my ideal guy if, if you can really get up there and, and pay for a shooting guard tonight. If not, I mean, Archie Goodwin, still your shooting guard eligible on DK. I think you like him the most um, just because you have to pick one shooting guard. But um, if you're looking at other guys, Wes Matthews has been playing playing pretty well. Um, I think, you know, he's probably your option if you're sticking in that 5K range. 21-30, um, 33-21 over the last four games there for DK points. Facing off against a hapless Lakers defense, um, he's definitely in play for me. Any other options? I mean, J.J. Redick has been kind of a hot hand, shooting 51%, 55% from three. Uh, not a bad matchup. This is actually the second highest total tonight, so I don't mind Redick tonight in this spot. Um, he's taking on a little bit bigger usage alongside Paul, so um, doesn't have your upside. Um, I mean, you, he would have to really get hot. It's just kind of unlikely, but not a bad play. Moving over to shooting guard, uh, Carmelo Anthony is questionable tonight um he said nothing to worry about nothing to be concerned about so look at him probably more probable than anything tonight which is good because if Melo did not play tonight i'd probably be befitting okc just because of the blowout factor but he's not in play for me tonight i'd rather pay up for durant who's still under 10k on uh dk there um you know averaging 26 5 and 7 he's just been doing his usual durant things of late uh, at just 9,800, I mean, it's really easy to kind of squeeze him in with all the deep value tonight. Um, I just like him a lot. And you look at Paul George, more of a contrarian move, who maybe he's a little bit injured, but, I mean, the guy's still posting decent numbers at times. I mean, yeah, he's not shooting the ball incredibly well, but still 34 points against Sacramento last night, or uh, last game, had 19-19. still scoring pretty big fantasy points because he's doing everything else, especially with steals, 3-4-3-3. Uh, three, three, three. Uh, in four of the last five games there. So Paul George, not a bad contrarian option tonight because mostly you're going to see Durant um, and you're going to see this other guy here, Chandler Parsons, uh, sitting at your lower mid-tier range option against the Lakers who averaging 19-2 and 5 in the last six games. Great option, 55% from the field, 63% from three. Um, I mean, the guy's been phenomenal of late, kind of finally picking it up. And um, I really like him in this matchup at this price. Um, if I'm, you know... If I'm fading Durant tonight, it's probably going to be with Parsons, and I'll probably be going a little bit cheaper um, with even a guy like Robert Covington, who continues to play well, um, averaging 15, 1, and 7, coming off a 25-point game against Boston. So um, he's a nice option. I think he's more reserved for GPPs. I think he's going to be lower on just because there's other guys in this range. Omri Caspi is going to get a bump tonight with Rudy Gay out. Uh, having an eye issue, so he is already ruled out. That means more Willie Colley Stein and more Omri Caspi. That's just a big bump. And also the usage, more shifts to guys around him, especially with Cousins. So um, if you're looking at any lower, a small forward, Aaron Gordon's an interesting play tonight. Um, he's averaging 11 and 7 over the last four games, finally getting minutes, averaging 26 per game, shooting 53% from the field. Um, I like him more here at, at DK because he's small forward eligible, but averaging 25 points in that span, uh, fancy points in that span, is not a bad option tonight. More of a power forward, um, injury-wise, Blake Griffin may have a new one. He wasn't playing tonight, but I guess supposedly he might have punched someone and broke his hand. Uh, that could be could be an issue, could be out for a few more weeks, so it looks like we're going to be riding the Chris Paul train for a while uh, with his high usage of late, so that's going to be something to keep an eye on. Uh, power forward, still DeMarcus Cousins on DK. I mean, you may have your worry coming off a double overtime game, um, being a little bit tired, still priced at 11000 but I'm not, I see no way of fading Boogie tonight. Um, he just remains my top option. And really, anything else less, um, you're not looking at guys on DK just because Cousins is so expensive. And nor Bosch, Porzingis, Thad Young, Noel are, are guys I'm really eyeing just because Cousins is up there. Um, Noel, probably the guy who would be in play for me. Um, you know, not a great score, but still his peripheral stats are phenomenal. His defensive stats averaging almost nearly four blocks and steals per game over the last four. Still putting up over 30 fantasy points per game on DK. So still in play there. Uh, not a bad match matchup against the Phoenix front court, who could be without some injuries tonight. Um, Markeith Morris is questionable. If they all sit like they did the last game, you're going to see Alex Len and Tyson Chandler eat up a ton of minutes and a ton of boards. Um like they did before so they would both make great value plays if things shake out in that front court where they both sit 
Uh, if you're looking at other options, um, Julius Randle's in play for me, seeing a little bit bigger minutes of late, averaging 27 in the last five games. And um, I mean, he's averaged 14 and 12 against Dallas in two games this season. Um, that kind of, you know, he does have 30 fantasy point upside there, so not a bad matchup. I like getting a little bit of exposure to that game as well because a lot of them come at those mid-value um, prices. Moving over to center, um, obviously FanDuel, you got Bogey, but if you're looking elsewhere, if you're looking at a different cash game option, Greg Monroe is my favorite cash game play. Um, he has a double-double in eight of the last ten games, and those two games he missed. Um, he missed by one point and one board, so um, he's nearly double-doubled in ten straight games. And Nice matchup against an average Orlando front court. Um, they rank 15th in fantasy points allowed over the last ten games. They also rank 15th in rebound differential, so... Uh, solid play for me there, um, but obviously it's just going to be tough to really fade Boogie tonight. Um, the value, I mean, it really comes at center tonight. Um, with Rudy Gay out, you saw Willie Colley Stein slip in, play bigger minutes, played bigger minutes with him last night. Obviously, that game went over two overtimes, but um, 22, 29, 31, 35 DK points over the last four games. Great spot against Portland tonight. Do struggle against power forwards and centers. Um, so. He's definitely in play for me tonight, as well as Miles Turner if Ian Mahimi sits. If Mahimi plays, I mean, he's obviously a little bit more risky just because the mid situation could be tough to predict. Um, we've seen that with Indiana this season, but I mean, Turner, I mean, he's been phenomenal of late, um, averaging 18 and 5 with 2.6 blocks per game in the last five. So uh, at just 4,800 on DK and 45 on FanDuel, where he is um, power forward eligible, um, sorry, 4,900 on FanDuel, he's power forward eligible there he makes for a great play because you can pair him with boogie there um and as well as both sides you can pair him so um i think value at center is where, really where you're going to pay down for tonight on dk um you can put cousins you can put chandler len really call you stein turner um all alongside each other with with monster upside for not a big price tag um if you're looking any lower uh slaw mary for dallas um with Zaza Pachulia already ruled out tonight, or on the doubtful side, he played 29 minutes in the last game, went 10-11 with three blocks against Houston. Um, Drew the stop the spot start, you're likely going to see that again tonight with him doubtful. Obviously a great spot against the Lakers, who are in the bottom five against centers. So he would definitely be in play for me there. And um, at just, you know, bare minimum price. Obviously you're not going to play him on FanDuel, but DK at just 3,500, um, definitely not a bad spot. So I really like him. Uh, that's going to wrap things up for the men's to win it. Check out Daily Fantasy Cafe for our tools and great content.